the fuck? This is not going good right now. Not going good at all. My party gauge sucks. Oh boy. This sucks. Freaky against the spider. Oh fuck. Fuck me. You know, I just need to run. Get out of range. Okay, out of range. Oh boy. It's gotta be getting close. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> That was a close one. Doesn't that game seem a lot more fun than this piece of shit? Talking to some fucking daughter and spoiled daughter and her fucking rich ass mother. <sighs> Draw point, huh? Tornado? I don't want that shit. But yeah, call that a little sneak peek at at what's to come, I guess, for Xenoblade. An infinitely superior game to this fucking piece of shit. So yes, this is Veteran0121 from the future, I guess. Speaking to Veteran0121 from Xenoblade Chronicles Episode 1 where I'm going, I don't know if this game is going to be good or not. It's fucking good. I'm telling you, dude, it's awesome. What the hell is going on? Rent a car? Uh... Sure. I don't even know- I don't even remember what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, that last episode you saw... I actually recorded, like, quite a while ago. Uh... So, uh... Yeah, I, I really have no idea what's going on anymore. Oh, we used the elevator to leave! Oh! Okay, so we're on the world map now. Alrighty. How the fuck do I leave this goddamn piece of shit town? See, not only do you have to navigate while inside the town, but this game thought it would be a good idea to make you walk around on the world map on the streets of the town, or like the highways or something. I mean, fuck. Why? Why is this necessary? Why is there a big giant fence over here? Christ, man. How long did it take to build that fence? Whatever. It's time to explore this fucking shit fantasy world. You know, and to be quite honest with you, I don't even like the graphics for this for the overworld in this game that much. They look like shit. The world looks like shit. The fucking world had more imagination in Final Fantasy VII. And in that game, they didn't have all this textured graphics and shit. But it looks better, in my opinion. I'm not saying that the battle designs look bad, and I'm saying that, you know, the pre-rendered backgrounds obviously look good. You know, when, when you're in, at a location, but, like, when you're walking around the overworld, I think it looks like shit. To be quite honest with you. And, oh, look at this. It's that, uh place that a Laguna escaped from. I can't even remember what the fuck it was called. Hey, Mr. Moomba. How you doing? Hey, doggy. Ooh, death spell. I don't even care. I don't even have my draw code initiated. Wow. I'm slacking. I forgot all about that shit. We're gonna have to... 
After the next pause break, or in between the pause break, or the next one I get, I'm gonna have to activate that shit, I guess. If I want a certain spell. What the fuck is the point of coming here, anyways? Oh, wait, I didn't even see this guy. It's still standing there, but they don't do anything in there now. When the research subject moves elsewhere, I guess they move with it. Research subject? Are you talking about alone? I guess they are. Who else would they be talking about? But yeah, the theme that's actually playing in this part right here is actually quite good. It's too bad that, you know, they used it, or Nobu Uematsu used it for Final Fantasy VIII. But you know what, in my opinion, the overworld music matches the shitty ugliness of this fucking overworld. I mean, look at it, man. It's ugly. It looks like shit. So, Nobu Uematsu actually did a good job conveying that with the music, because the music is shitty as well. So I guess you could say that this overworld music actually is a triumph in that respect, that it does reflect the shittiness of the world that we're exploring. Is this uh, where we're supposed to be going here? What is this place? I forgot. Where are we supposed to be going? Oh, the Lunar Gate. Our staff is waiting for you. Oh, I don't want to go there yet. Yeah, not yet. Don't want to go there yet. So, yeah, eventually we're supposed to be going to this place, I guess, for something. But there's... God, what else is around here? I know there's other shit to find. What's that? It's a giant steeple? It's a penis building? What the hell is this? I don't know, I see an obelisk like that and I just have all kinds of dirty thoughts. Like they erected some giant shaft to uh do something. What the hell is this shit? I like how they're playing the uh, the snowfield music in here. That's pretty nice. Uh-oh. Hi. Off limits? Come on, man. What is this place? At least tell me what the hell it is. I guess there's a good spot to get stop spells if you care, but you probably already have stop spells. Okay, that was wonderful. We can't even explore this part. So where can we go next? Might as well check my map, huh? Tears Point, Lunar Gate, Lunatic Pandora Laboratory, and the Air Station. So I guess there's only one place left to go, eh? The place that's over here, right? Tears Point or some shit. Why the fuck do they call it Tears Point? What the fuck is that kind of name? I mean, when I think of the word tears, I think of crying, but I don't associate it with, um, you know, locations or anything like that. I just think of crying when I hear the name Tears. So the fact that this place has the name Tears Point makes absolutely no fucking sense, at least to me. But hey, whatever, what do I know? I'm just one man. My opinion doesn't fucking matter. The fact that I think this game sucks ass doesn't matter either. <laughs> I mean, when it comes right down to it... Wait a minute, I don't have... Oh, I must have used a life spell somewhere. <laughs> whatever. Oh goody, we have a whole bunch of, what the hell are these things, solar panels? It's very strange, very very strange, and ooh, what's this? What in the world is this? There's something on the ground over here. 
and we get the Solomon ring and this ring is needed to unlock a GF and uh, not only do we need this ring to unlock a GF but we I think we need like a bunch of other different items to with it to unlock it I don't exactly know how it works Let's see if I can find it in here Solomon Ring. Solomon Ring, I know. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Can't summon GF. So yeah, we need a certain amount of items in our inventory to summon the GF that we can summon with this ring. And in order to figure out what items you need for that, I might need to do some card refining and I might need to show that off after I look it up because I honestly don't fucking remember off the top of my head so I'll be right back alright so basically you need six remedy pluses you need six Marlboro tentacles which I don't have remedy pluses I can get with medicine level up Alexander ability and steel pipes those are really easy to get uh, through card modding but yeah I don't have those items so I can't unlock doom train yet I'll just unlock it later when I actually can, but I do want to pick up this item over here because, uh, well, that would be, um, beneficial, I guess. But honestly, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Doom Train is a pretty cool GF, though. It's one of the, it's one of the more neat Guardian Forces in the game. But yeah, that's the Guardian Force that you unlock <laughs> with the Solomon Ring. I mean, who doesn't like a demonic train? I mean, shit. That's, shit's awesome. So yeah, I gotta give this game props for that at least. Doom Train is freaking awesome. But yeah, I won't give this game that many props. I'll, gi I'll give it where, where it deserves it. But otherwise, you know, I, I am not a fan of this game. So any chance I get to fucking shoot it down off its pedestal from all the fanboys and I will totally do so anyways uh, I don't know what I should be doing next you know in fact after getting that item yeah that's it oh wait no maybe I should take off and counter none and wander around and well see no if I did that that means I'd have to level up so no that's a bad idea I shouldn't do that in fact yeah yeah no, uh, that's just bad. See, this game discourages you from exploring and fighting monsters. What RPG game that's good discourages you from doing that? Well, most of the good ones don't, but this one does, because if you level up, the monsters will get stronger and they'll be harder to kill, so why the fuck even bother? Why do you even bother in this game? No, the game is like, whoa, but if you play cards, you'll become really, really strong. Give me a fucking break. You know, uh, who am I using here? Uh, I guess I'll use Selfie and I'll switch this crap up. Oh, wait, I should actually switch junctions too, shouldn't I? Yeah, that would make sense. No, 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 I don't want to switch member, I want to switch junction. Yeah, there we go. God, I forgot how to play this game already. And again, fucking bullshit. I gotta sit here and heal the character that I just switched junctions around with. That's fucking annoying. Such a waste of time. Yeah, cure spells will work. Fucking horse shit. Alright. So, there were a number of different locations, all of them, nothing was going on, so, right now, I guess the only thing left for me to do is, I forgot where I was going there, just actually come over here to the, uh, the Lunar Gate, right, is this the Lunar Gate? This better be the Lunar Gate. Yeah, alright. Welcome to the Lunar Gates. Yippee. They've been expecting us, huh? Alrighty. 
Do you play cards? Can I play cards with you? I guess not. How come you don't play cards, dude? How come I can't run right now? I can only walk. It's ridiculous. I wanna run. Why is the game forcing me to walk like a slow ass? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's Angelo or what's what's Renoa's dog's name again? Oh, It's okay, buddy. I'll take care of your slutty master for you. Taking off? What, we're going to space? What the fuck? Wow, this came out of left field. I don't remember them ever talking about going into space. Seriously? Wow. Okay. Wow, you're gonna put us in, like, sleep or something? Like, are you gonna cryogenically freeze us? Oh, so you are! Oh, see, I forgot about this part. I, I, I didn't remember what the fuck... I mean, I've seen, like, cryogenesis and other shit, like, you know, in TV shows and movies and stuff. I don't remember it in this game, though. Yes, I'll do whatever it takes to look after Renoa. The, the girl in blue has already undergone cold sleep and has been loaded in. Ooh, so I can put somebody else up there with me, huh? Uh... Yeah, I, I'm not too sure about that. Whatever. That's exactly why it can't be you, Zell. You're a fucking chicken wuss. Actually, you're a name that's worse than that. But whatever. Ooh, Adia wants to sell, huh? God, I mean, push the issue. So what the hell was the point of me making that decision, anyways? I mean, I, I don't know why they even ask Squall's opinion if they're just gonna overturn his fucking opinion in the first place. What the fuck? Wait, come on, Squall! I mean, he is technically still the leader of this little band, is he not? <sighs> so we gotta choose Irvin, Renault, or Quistus, and Selfie. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with, um... No, I'll go with Irvin, I guess. Fuck it, I... Well, actually, no, no, what the hell am I thinking? I'm gonna go with Quistus. In fact, yeah, that makes the most sense, right? Actually, I don't know what makes sense. I, I just want Quistus by my side, if you know what I mean. I think I'm, I'm still clinging to that glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, I might change my mind and want to get together with Quistus and not Renoa. But, whatever. Do it up. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Do it up. It's a weird expression. It's a new one. So yeah, I don't know if I missed anything. And honestly, I really don't care. I mean, I know I got the Solomon rank. <laughs> it's... And I know my characters are quite godly anyways, so what the fuck, I, I got nothing to fear. I'll probably, if I'm gonna do side quests, I'll do them all later anyways. Launch error correction plus two, orbital correction minus one, corrections complete. Go. Whoa, that didn't look right. That looked kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, maybe my emulator's glitching out again, eh? 
Wow, is there supposed to be sound effects for this part here, or what? Something's not right. I think my emulator's glitching out again, man. That's alright. I don't care. All the other stuff works, so whatever. Okay then, so we're controlling these fuckers now. Alright. Whoa. Well, I apologize for the FMVs, but I really don't care. I don't know what's going on. For some reason, I only seem to have problems with FMVs in this game. I mean, I, a little, maybe a little bit of problems in Final Fantasy IX, but nothing like this game. It seems like every fucking FMV I have problems with. So we're going to run back to the city to talk to Dr. Odin. Why? I'm not even sure. I don't even care. So, yeah, I guess I'll bring Irvin along. And guess what? They want us to Junction Exchange. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that fucking great? So again, it's another one of those fucking bullshit cases where the game doesn't tell you that we're gonna switch crap around and uh, now I gotta switch junctions again and now their HP sucks again. So go fucking figure, right? Not even gonna bother healing. So let's go back to S-Star and then I, from what I remember, when we go back to S-Star we're gonna be doing a lot of running around. Look at that, Zell is fucking airboxing again. Look at that. When he's just standing on the overworld, that's what he does. He airboxes. That's pretty neat. But anyways, yeah, when we go back to S-Star, we're going to be wandering around and some really pointless bullshit is probably going to be happening. And, uh, I mean, I wish, I wish this was Disc 1 all over again, because at least in Disc 1, the plot isn't so convoluted and fucked up. That, you know, at least in that part of the game, it's funny and I can laugh at the stuff that's going on. Right now, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to, fun, you know, think of shit. But, uh, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy VIII. And in the next episode, we're going to hate on this game some more. Squall's going to go to space, maybe. And I still can't remember why we're going to space, but... Whatever. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.